Hey, it's that train guy who turns into a spaceship. A train ship. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Voyager Class Astro Train. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Astro Train's decapitated noggin, Dark Moon, and Astro Train. On this side of the box, we have that same piece of artwork. On this side of the box, Autobot logo. On the top, Autobot logo. On the bottom, stuff and things. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have your bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Astro Train, finally. The character this mold was intended for, and I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> so here is Astro Train. And he is a uh, recolor of uh, Sentinel Prime, or maybe Sentinel Prime was the recolor of Astro Train. Chicken or the egg, you know how it works. But either way, here is Astro Train in his train mode. And let's get in close here so we can see the details. Again, just like with Sentinel Prime, a lot of nice molded detail that would have benefited greatly from some paints, but unfortunately, um, not a whole lot of paint on this. Um, at least on Sentinel Prime, they actually painted some of these wheels silver. On Astro Train, they didn't paint any of the wheels silver. But uh, they did actually paint the little turrets here up top in black, which is a nice touch. Got the Subticon symbol right there. And you have the Transclear and Purple Cockpit up there for your Titan Master. And just going down the length of the train. And the back of the train looks just like the front of the train. And there you go. You know. Uh, you know, like I said, with Subtle Prime, could have benefited from, you know, some more paint. But hey, if you're good with paint, then you can do this bad boy up and make it look spectacular. But there you go. He does have the three rolling wheels right here. So you can roll him around. And he rolls okay. He still more slides than rolls, but eh, it's, it's something. So there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with Sentinel Prime. All orange everything. There you can see the two characters side by side there. So there you have that. Here he is with the classics Astro Train. So you can see how he looks there with his classics incarnation. And here he is with DX9's Chigger there, not Masterpiece, not Astro Train. So you can see how they look together. And there you go. Now he does include some accessories. He does include his two guns, which are the same two guns that came with Sentinel Prime, just cast in purple plastic. But still, they have some nice molding to them, nonetheless. Let's see right here. That's it done. And of course, you can plug them into the various ports. You have the two ports right up here. You have the two ports on the sides. Um, one thing, I don't know if this is a widespread issue or if this is just my copy of the toy, but these ports on the side are very loose on mine. They don't, they, they just don't, they don't hold the gun up. <laughs> um, this peg works. That peg works. But for some reason, the side pegs just, no, they're just very, very floppy loose. Um, this gun also, it just kind of, it droops. It's a bit of droopage there. I don't much care for it. Um, same thing on the other side. I think it's just these side pegs. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened to the mold, but uh, yeah. That holds in just fine, but yeah, it's just, that's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. That gun holds in fine on that side, so I don't know. I don't know. Something's going on there with the mold. I have no idea, but hey. And again, like I said, you can plug them up top here if you want to. Totally up to you. So there you go. And of course he does include his tight. Oh, one thing I totally forgot. Oh my God, I forgot the most important thing. Oh, oh no, how dare I? Card, that's right, card. It's a card with artwork. There's decapitated noggin right there. And the tech specs for Astro Train and Dark Moon. Hooray for cards, yay! Get out of here. So anyway, he does include his Titan Master. Here is Dark Moon, and uh, he is the same Titan Master that came with Sentinel Prime, and we'll just bring in 
Sentinel Prime's Titan Master here, so you can see they are the exact same mold. If the camera will focus, there we go. They are the exact same mold, just done in different colors, purple as opposed to orange, and they just have a uh, different upside down face on their back. So there you go. Otherwise, the same Titan Master. So you have that done as usual. Titan Master has the ball jointed noggin. The ball jointed shoulders, which don't allow for too much outward movement. He can not put his arms all the way up, as far as he can get them. And the hips are on a hinge, and the knees are on a hinge. They go either way. And as usual, just for a comparison, here he is with a Fans Project Headmaster. And here he is with a G1 Headmaster. So there you go. Now, if you want, you can take a little Dark Moon here, and you can have him sitting in this gun and then you can plug this gun in here and you have a cool little weapon emplacement that you can plug onto the figure itself or plug onto any of the bases you know uh, prime blaster fort max that's pretty cool a nice display option or you can just open up the cockpit section right here and drop dark moon down close it up and there you go you can ride the train so there you have that. So let's just get down to transformation, shall we? Let's, so let's go into his second alt mode. So to do that, you just untab these wings here from the sides, and then you just take this whole assembly here, and you just swing it to the side. Just bring that down for now, get it out of the way. Take these panels here with the wheels, flip that up, flip that up. You want to untab this whole section here. Bring that down, you want to open up this panel, and bring this around, close it back up, there you go, second verse, same as the first, flip that up, flip that up, untab, open that up, swing that around, close it up, and just bring the two halves together, like that, Tip it all together, then you can take this backpack section here, you can see the tab right there that goes into the slot right there. Tab that in, like that. And then you just take the arms, and let me brace this up just all speed. And you take the arms, and you just bring them down, bring them down. And then you take the wings, and you bring them down on this double hinge. Again, you want to make sure that this little bit right here goes underneath underneath the slip right here. So you just want to bring that down like that. And then this tab will tab into the slot right there on the farm. So tab it in, tab it in. Make sure all that is sitting how it's supposed to. Bring that down. Tab it in. These little fins and just angle them out. Then you can come down here and just flip out these little landing struts. Flip that out. Flip that out. And there you go, there you have Astro Train in his shuttle mode. And uh, yeah, it definitely works a lot better in these colors. I like it. I like it very much. I, I mean, I like the look of the space shuttle. I think it looks cool, in my opinion. I mean, granted, the transformation is very simple because you can pretty much... <laughs> he's pretty much already in robot mode. So, I mean, it's a simple transformation, but um, it works for me. I do quite like it. And again, lots of nice molded detail that, you know, would have been nice to have been picked down in some paint. At least these, uh, the cockpit section here would have looked nice if these little, you know, windows were kind of picked out. But, eh, it is what it is. And, of course, you can take the guns. You can just plug them into those side ports there so you can sit at an angle. Although this one's, this one's a little loosey-goosey. But, eh, meh, 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 there you go. You can do that. Or you can plug them onto the sides here. Into these ports, if you wish. Have that going on. Or you can plug them into the ports underneath the wings. If you wish. You have options. Hooray for options. So you have that. I think you're supposed to use this peg, actually, for this connection. I'm not sure. There you go. So you have some options as to how you want to display the weaponry on him. So, there you go. Here he is with all orange everything. Sentinel Prime. I forgot to flip out his little landing gears. How dare I? How dare I? How dare I forget to flip that out? There we go. So there he is with Sentinel Prime. 
So you can see the only difference is just the color. You have Astro Train Orange! Astro Train Orange! There you have that. There he is with the classics. Astro Train. So you can see how he looks there. And here he is with DX9's Chigger. You can see how he looks with his not masterpiece version of himself. So there you have that. So moving on to robot mode. So let us remove the guns. Remove the guns. Remove. Let's get Dark Moon out of here. Put him off to the side. And there we go. So now we will just flip these up. We will untab the wings from the arms and then just bring them up on this double hinge just to get them out of the way. Untab, bring up. You want to just untab the uh, backpack just for now, just to give you some clearance here. So you can uh, get these panels flipped down, flip it down, flip it down, flip it down, flip up these landing struts, flip in his nipples. Bring the legs apart, not his whole crotch, just the legs. And rotate them forward, bring up the foot, rotates, bring up, and you flip out his hand, and flip out his hand, that will lock into place right there, we need to raise up a bit, and then we can secure the backpack again, and me, I just like to bring the wings up like this at this angle, that's the way I like to do it, you do it however you want to. So there you have that, and of course, last but not least, he does need a head. So we just take a little Dark Moon here, we put his arms down, we fold him in half, and we plug him on. Whoop. And then we just pull down this little switch here, and whoop, there you go. And there you have Astro Train in his robot mode, and he looks delicious. <laughs> you know, um... When I reviewed Sentinel Prime, I said, you know, I, I love the mold, but I will love it so much more when it's Astro Train. And I do. I love this mold so much more now that it's Astro Train. Now that it's the character it's intended to be I uh, and in the colors it's supposed to be. Um, absolutely love it. I think it looks great in, in my personal opinion. Getting close here on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. Looks good. You do have some gray right there in those little shoulder pylons. And he has his red and purple belly. Got some black there on the arms, purple hands, and some black paint apps throughout. There's black toes. And going up the back here. A little bit of a backpack, but you know, it's a typical kind of Astro Train backpack going on there. And there you go. And of course, he can hold his weapons and give him his guns. You can plug them both together if you want. Make a double belt blaster, or he can dual wield guns. Totally up to you. So there you go. Now articulation wise, um, if you leave the shoulder pieces down, you do have full range of movement with the head. And you have that little bit of wiggly waggly movement. If you leave these up, then your movement is very limited, but you do have this space here cut out so this whole assembly can rotate. Um, it doesn't give you a whole lot of range of movement, but it, it gives you enough if you use that and uh, the actual neck joint. You know, you get, a, get a decent range of movement. Uh, the arms can do a full 360. The wings kind of get in the way, but to do a full 360. They can go in and out. Biceps swivel over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Um, the wrists don't do anything except move in. That's more for transformation, but if that serves any purpose to you, hey, there it is. Uh, nothing at the waist due to the way it transforms. The legs can go forward that much on a ratchet, can go back. Again, the wings kind of get in the way, but if you get around them, you get pretty much full backward movement. I split his crotch, I'm sorry. Uh, full outward movement, you can do the full splits. Thigh swivel, 90 degrees of bend up the knee, and his feet can move up a little bit and move down all the way due to transformation. So there you go. Get this back in your hand. There you go. Get them all situated again here. So there you have that now for comparison. Here he is with 
Voyager Galvatron. And you know what? We'll bring in Lion Tryon also. Just for a comparison. So there you go. Let's see how he scales with some of the other Voyagers. As we knock things over, <laughs> here he is with all orange everything. Mr. Sentinel Prime. And as you can see, you know, the colors this is intended to be. Astro Train. Orange! Astro Train. Orange! Orange. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what else have we got here? Uh, here he is with his classic self. You can see how he looks now. Here he is with Voyager Blitzwing from the Generations line. You can see a little bit, eh, maybe a hair taller, I think, maybe. Yeah, like a hair. Taller than Blitzwing. Here he is with leader Megatron. You can see how he scales out. So there you have that. And here he is with Chigger. The X9s, not Masterpiece, not Astro Train. You can see how they scale together. So there you are, high on that. And there you go. So yeah, Master Train. Um, like I said, you know, I, I really like this mold, but I didn't like it as Sentinel Prime. I love it as Astro Train. This looks great in my opinion. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Very cool. That's all I have to say. <laughs> so there you go. Now, if you would like an Astro Train or any other Titans Return figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Titans Return playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Titans Return Voyager Class Astro Train, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, pull me in your face! Astro Train, I need you to take me into the city. Uh, yeah, okay, sure, um, I'll just transform and... No, no, you don't have to transform. I... I don't have to transform, but it, it'll make things a lot... No, you don't have to transform, just take me there. I'm not understanding what you want me to do. Seriously, this would be a lot easier if you just let me... Shut up! I'm enjoying the view! Let's keep going. <sighs> Fine. Whatever you say, sir. I really need to rethink my career choices. Urgh.